Hi, Kevin Dudney here, and this is the end of our series known as Rooming Houses. And what we're looking at here is about a year ago, one of my clients, John, bought these two blocks off us in a place called Tingalpa next to Cannon Hill in Brisbane, about 10K from the city centre of Brisbane. And in that time, um, they've managed to build, do excuse us while we're walking and talking, because cars prefer to keep their street. Um, so these two rooming houses were built in the last 12 months. Now what that means in very simple English is two rooms, five bedrooms on this one, and five bedrooms on this one. So what we've got is 10 rooms in total that's being handed over tomorrow. Now in this particular case, which is a bit unusual, the actual um, client has taken a, a full lease on both of them to sublease them all out at 310 per week. So that means for our client, day one, they will get 3,100 per week, plus another $50 per week for their car parking which is provided on site in most instances. So just repeating, two blocks of land were sold here a year ago uh, at the time, and then two rooming houses have been built. So roughly it takes one year or a little bit less from start to finish to create these. In Brisbane, we do not need an approval to build these. These are just good old honest five bedroom homes, but you can only have five unrelated parties living in there. So without further ado, I'll keep chatting and talking and uh, we can at least get some idea of where we're at here. So basically, um, what you're seeing is a bit of a, an overview of them and uh, they're built more or less to the character of the street because we do try to make them as um, inconspicuous as is possible. Now in this particular case if we pan to my right you'll see there's about 14 townhouses that were built on the same block but the Brisbane City Council has lost their appetite for townhouses and the problem with townhouses are the yield is around about 3% maybe 3.5 whereas our minimum yield that we find acceptable is 8%. So let's have a look at how we achieved that result. Now, just to get a glimpse of the roof here, you'll see that we've got any space on the roof, we've also got space for solar. We're producing about 15 kilowatts of power here because we provide free power to all of our tenants in these buildings. So that's a, a certain advantage, as well as no water charges, and we provide full furnishing options. Internally, we have a simple door. All of our doors are electronic, which means that we can change the locks remotely should the need arise where we need to change our security options. So come on in guys and let's have a look at what we've got here. So this is our common area. Each rooming house under class 1B in Australia mustn't be more than 300 square metres in size. And this one therefore is smaller than that. And it must have a common area and a common laundry. So we provide a common laundry here, which gives us our, um, our test run because we're handing over the mice. So we're just testing the washing machines now. Good news is we're not drowning anything here, so they're working quite nicely for now. We have two of them in case one goes on the 